Hello everyone, this is going to be a video on how to input a list into a TI-84. From that list, we are going to get the equation of the scatter plot, the line of best fit, right? And remember, the line of best fit is a line that is drawn on a scatter plot through the center of all the points. But instead of doing it by hand, getting the equation by hand, now you're going to use the calculator, but the only thing is you need to know how to input the list into the calculator to do it. All right, so we are going to start and I'm going to bring up my TI-84. So the first thing that you want to do is to press this stat button and the statistics button is right here. It's in red. And we're going to press enter. It's on edit. We're going to press enter. So you see right now we have L1 and we are going to put 19 in and press enter and then press 19 again and press enter. What we're looking at right now is right here. Like these are the X values that I'm inputting in. We're going to go to 22 and press enter. And the next one is 24. And notice when I put that in and I press enter, it's going directly into that L1, which is list one. 32 is twice right there. And I'm going to move this down to put the rest of them in. Um, 37 is next. Enter 40 enter 40 again 46 twice forty seven fifty two fifty five twice to end all of our x values in our list number one really so when we're talking about this list, we have all of L1 in, but now we need to get to L2. So I'm going to press the right button and it's going to go directly to L2. And now I'm ready to go ahead with my Y values, right? So 170, 180 is next, 170 again. 250, 320, 300, and I'm going to drag this down, 500, 600, 850, 800, 950, 1,000, and 1,150. So at the end of L2, you should have a dotted line on the bottom of L1 and a dotted line on the bottom of L2. So that means that you matched up every X with every Y. So now press stat. And instead of staying on the edit, we're going to press to the right once the right arrow and go to calc for calculate. And you see this number four, it says linear regression, AX plus B. That's kind of like Y equals MX plus B. The A is the slope and the B is the Y intercept. So we're going to press four and it's going to go to the screen. It says X list L1, press enter once. It goes down to L2, press enter again. Frequency list down again store down again and now it says calculate 
and we press enter one last time and we have our linear regression equation so we have now an equation that says y equals ax plus b which is mx plus b the a which is your slope your rate for this for this scatter plot is y equals 24 point one seven i'm going to round it off x minus three hundred and seventy seven point two one and that is my equation of this whole thing that would be so difficult to to even plot and to get that equation, this is an exact equation of that line of what that line of best fit should be. So before I end the video, I just want to show you a couple of things that might trip you up here or, and, and confuse you. So if we press stat again and we go back to this page and we press enter and say there's another question on the test, well, then you go, all right, how do I get all these numbers to go away? To, how do I input another list when L1 and L2 have all of these numbers in them already? So we are going to now go up to L2. Do you see this delete button? Don't press delete. That's going to delete the whole entire L2 list right not just the 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 data that's in the list the list itself we're not going to press delete we're going to press clear notice what happens to all the numbers in l2 they're gone they cleared if you press enter it goes away go over to l1 and go up to l1 and do the same thing clear and then press enter and now you're ready for another question. Now, one other thing that I did mention is that if you go up to L1 and press delete, it's going to delete the entire list, right? The entire column. So let's go ahead and do that because if we do it on accident, L1 is gone. And that is not good. That's like panic mode right so i'm going to do it again for l2 delete l2 it's gone so now we want to get those lists back those columns back so i'm going to show you how to do that press stat and you see all the way on the bottom it says setup editor go down to or press five and press enter once it we press enter it should say setup editor on the screen and if you press enter again it says done let's go back to stat and edit l1 and l2 have returned All right so if you delete a list don't worry go to set go to add stat and then setup editor if you want to clear a list go up to l1 and press clear and then press enter and you'll clear that whole list. Right. Hopefully that video helped you out. Thanks for watching.